Today, I'm going to teach you how to UV unwrap your low poly models. Let's go. So here we are over on the PC. So first off, what you're going to do is select your model and go to the material tab. So make sure you have a material on your model. Uh, if you don't, just click on new or open one from the drop down. Go to the base color and click on image texture and then click on new and change this to a color grid or UV grid. Basically, it just adds a like a texture to it. You can see like this. Now this is even messed up because we don't have a good UV unwrap. So let's go hop over to the UV editing, fix this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this basically is just to kind of show us like how big everything is on the, the UV unwrap and to make sure we don't have any tearing or whatever. So easiest way to start is go scroll down and open up this menu, click on display stretch. So you see if it's like yellow, that's bad. If it's with black, dark blue, that's good. Okay. And the basics of UV unwrapping is you can select something. So I'll go like select a whole edge. Uh, I'm just using alt right click to select and control E and mark seam. Okay. And if I go select everything and then you unwrap, you can see now it's like changed. And now you can see it's kind of fix some parts of it, but not really well. And also something useful is to click on this little arrow and then that will mean uh, if you select something, it will like be selected over here on the left side, uh, but it won't uh, disappear when you deselect. Okay, so now we just have to go through and start adding like a bunch of edge loops uh, to wherever we want uh, a seam. So basically the whole goal of this to make a flat model on the left side. So you can just start adding edge loops wherever you think it makes sense. So usually it makes sense to like split off different parts of the body. Uh, so like there, uh, you usually split the legs off as well. So like this, mark seam, and then uh, unwrap. So you can see uh, if you go to face select, you can see we have each different part on the left. So you can see the head, the arms, the arms are super messed up because it's not uh, having an edge on the side. The same with the legs and the feet. So what we can do is like with the arm, we can even separate the hand. That usually works quite well. So just select like this, mark seam. And then you'll want to just go select the whole edge like this. And mark seam. And then if we unwrap, you can see we get this nasty unwrap thing. And if you go to material preview, you can see the texture doesn't look stretched at all. Okay. Uh, then we can go through and start adding more seams. So we can do the same thing for the leg. So just select the whole edge like that. Mark seam, unwrap, and then you can see we have it like that. Now the texture is looking even better. And uh, we can do the same thing for the feet. So usually I just go like add a seam like that. Uh, and then get, like select the whole bottom edge, uh, mark seam, see unwrap. This is the top part, so you can see this doesn't look good because we want it to be more dark blue like that. So maybe we can add some seams. So sometimes it works, you just do it like that. Unwrap, okay, that doesn't work because then it's intersecting in there. So we could even just go like do this. Uh, which does work pretty well. Let's check this, unwrap. Okay, cool. That looks pretty decent for the feet. And then we also need to work on the body because some parts are still stretched. Uh, so we can probably add edge loops here. See if that will work. This is the body there. Yeah, it's a bit hard to kind of do it, but you kind of get used to which parts are good to unwrap. So maybe we could actually do it like that. And then Control E, clear seam. And then unwrap. Cool, that looks a bit better. Okay. Uh, let's work on these hands, see if we can get them flat. So maybe select this edge, mark seam, uh, probably just to separate the thumb. So there, mark seam, 
and then you'd want to go at an edge group down the side and then probably like two edges like that you unwrap so if you can just select parts with l to see what it looks like on, on the left side uh so that's the, not great it still has like a bunch of yellow so maybe that will work or maybe it just starts making clip in that's not good so what could we do maybe there that's usually just like trial and error to see what will actually work and what won't so like there that's not working okay so we still have this part this face clipping in maybe we can do this okay so they're still clipping into each other uh so maybe oh wait, we need to connect these there okay uh with the face it's super messed up because oh wait, we still have to finish the hands so there so we can probably just go add like edge hoops here mark seam okay cool that looks a bit better maybe a lost seam over here okay cool that looks good uh, and then for the mouth we want to just select this add a seam just to cut that off there and then we can probably just add like some air tubes up here i don't think it really matters that much because it's the inside of the mouth so okay cool that actually worked pretty well so let's look at the face doesn't look terrible but you can probably just add some edge hoops along here and maybe some down here okay so there this is clipping through each other so we don't want that cool i think that looks pretty decent and yeah so we don't have any more super bad issues yeah, if you want you can like work on it more to see if you can like get it to be more smooth but i don't see any issues if you want to like resize stuff you should just go to face mode and then you can l and select like an island and then resize it over here and you can kind of see what the relative size is to each one yeah just uh, click over here for another useful tutorial and subscribe